still wanna be. Damn, David. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. I'm back, family. You're the right way. And as you see, today is Thanksgiving. We cook at home. Today they got that nice juicy yam. Okay. <laughs> got a nice juicy ham. And we about to uh, cook for y'all today, man. So let me set this up. This tripod, y'all, is. I don't even know no more, bro. This thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me one second, y'all. Alright. Okay. Alright. And I don't know, they should like see the bottom of or, or, like your face. You wanna see your face or your I'll, or the I'll show the well they can do both. Put it at the corners. Just slide it over. Slide over. Move the bread. Move the bread. Move the bread. Just the bread, y'all. We ain't finna make no homemade bread. Uh, that's it. Set you down a little bit. Right there. Right here. Go up a little. You so short. Right there. You so short, bro. Your mama short. You didn't hear that. Donna. All right, uh, I'm doing the ham. I'm starting with the ham first. Um, I'm not like the one. I can't just do um, stuff off the top of my brain. So I have my mom send me the YouTube video that she has used for years. Me and Dewan made the ham last year and then we used it and it turned out good. So I'm gonna use the YouTube video again to make the ham. So first I'm gonna make Cuts in the ham so the, the like juice and seasonings get inside. I don't know about y'all, but ham is my favorite dish for Thanksgiving and mac and cheese. Those come very close, those two. So I'm making ham, baked beans, and mac and cheese. Yeah. He got the greens, sweet potatoes, and bread. And then we don't we're not dessert people, like we don't know how to make dessert. I'm learning, y'all. I'm learning how to bake. So I can't bake tonight. We got a store bought um I can't cook either. So. Pumpkin pie. I can't cook up that glad, glad I got data. No. Not glad he got data. So you keep seeing me look at my phone is because I'm looking at the YouTube video. I'm telling y'all she needed to learn how to make it herself. My mama didn't teach me that or home homemade. I didn't, I didn't find the interest to be in the kitchen while she did it. She supposed to be a kitchen wife. What's she doing? What's she doing outside in the fields? So we got Dijon mustard. I got the honey one because who doesn't like honey ham? I do. This stank though. Ugh. So I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna put some of this on the ham and cover it. Normally I would have gloves, but I guess I don't need them Fuck today. Gloves. running back there. Y'all tell her to worry about this ham because the ham come out crazy. I'm going to be mad because that's our only protein. No, he's not going to be mad. Besides, we got a, we got a backup technically. place we can go to if we really want some food. What? Uncle George and Uncle Carl. Oh. So. No, nah, you better not mess up the meat. What you mean? That's the meat. <laughs> okay, so I covered my ham. Wash my hands because I don't like my hands to be nasty. Uh, 
Okay, next step. Sprinkle the ham with one teaspoon of ginger, ground cinnamon, ground cloves, and black pepper, and a cup of brown sugar. Can you give me the brown sugar and black pepper? And cinnamon. Black pepper. Cinnamon. Should be in the second, and then, um, so these things that they asked for I ain't never used a damn my life well I used it obviously for the ham but like on a regular basis no ground clothes I never use that oh we do I think I'm about to get some gloves I can't take it no longer I can't. Roll up. This is a nasty feeling. Y'all tell her to roll up, please. Please, She got her little worst day to set up. Y'all, I'm about to set mine up for y'all. So I'll be ready when it's my turn to go. Mine's gonna take a little minute, though. Well, watch that. I should have just opened all of these before even touching that. This is another one that I, don't, I would never use on a daily basis. <gasps> well, good thing I'm staying inside today. I spilled it all on the floor. Trying to pop it open in my mouth. That kind of tastes nasty. This is ground ginger. And then... Cinnamon I use, but I only use it for sweet potatoes. I don't use it for nothing else. Come on. That's my mouth. They keep getting stuck to the top. Just, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna leave the camera. No, I'm gonna do it like this. I ain't gonna play no games with it. That kinda gotta make me sneeze. That kinda gotta make me sneeze. I don't know. <laughs> it's strong though. Oh my god, it's so potent. About to level up over here. And then some black pepper. Okay. Kind of like mix it in because it look kind of nasty. And then let me see on this side. Ooh, I don't like this stuff on my hands. Look like shit. It does. All right, y'all. This is the boring part. Unless you're just taking the recipe from me. Where'd the brown sugar go? Oh, my face. Okay. I like sweet ham, so I'm gonna put a lot of this. Not even gonna cap. This is that one fourth cup, but I'm gonna season until my ancestors tell me to stop. What that, what that mean? What that mean? Tell me what that means. That just means when I feel like it's done. Or when... You just... It's a black people slang. I can't even get it. It's a black people slang. I do it till I, look, y'all. I do it till I sneeze. Alright? That's how you know you got to I can't sneeze off brown sugar. I just realized what you was talking about. Oh, I thought you was talking about sneezing. No, I'm talking about brown sugar. Oh, my bad. You might, you might sneeze off brown sugar. You might be something new. Y'all gonna get tired of me. I have to rinse my hands after everything. I do not like touching this. Okay, so then you were supposed to inject it first. 
but I forgot, so I'm just gonna inject it now. Because he don't have injection on there, but I know Luanda Krigler, which is my mother. Oh, okay. oh well. They're not gonna go find her or anything. <laughs> but I know she injects all of her turkeys and hams with this good stuff. Tony, to chairs, I don't know. I get the roasted and garlic. There's other flavors too though. So I'm gonna use the whole bottle. And I just inject it into the ham so the juices can get out the in, not out the ham, in the ham. <gasps> I'm slow. Don't judge us neither y'all like. Judge us? Yeah, cause the one gonna fumble too. But what this is our first- Yeah, you fresh. This I know first, they're praying on my downfall. This is our first Thanksgiving. Well, I'm only making two things. The one. I don't know where it went, but the injection shot out the ham. It went right on your slippers. No, it went over there. It went in that direction. Oh my God, bro. I'll put it in the You slip. talking about me making messes in the kitchen. I'm gonna clean up mine, though. I'll go slow with this. Y'all, if y'all cook it and y'all don't use every dish no. in the kitchen. No, that's OD. Is y'all really cooking? No. Y'all not. Hey, somebody's calling. Oh, click it. What's up, Jaylin? Uh, can you tell me the ingredients I need for the double eggs? Oh, wow. Mayonnaise. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay. Um, onions, bell peppers. Wait, they will eggs. No, 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 wait, wait, my bad. Mayonnaise, mustard. You make potato salad. Huh? Mayonnaise, mustard. Mama. Why you couldn't ask your mama? Dang it, keep she shooting. Don't know. I thought you were juicing. Mayonnaise. Mustard. I want to say pickle, I was say pickle relish, but TTP, I'm only use the pickle relish to make it sweet. So don't just do that. Add sugar. Okay. Relish. That's it. That's it. And the eggs. That's it. Okay. So you gotta cook, cook the eggs, boil the eggs, and then you peel them. And you take the yellow part in the middle. You gotta cut them in half. Take the yellow part in the middle and put it in a bowl. Oh no. Okay. Have somebody taste it as you go, so you know how much to add or how much to stop doing. Okay. Any other questions? No. Nope. Hope they turn out good. Okay. Save us some. I'm injecting my ham right now. Yeah. Say what's up to YouTube. What? We're YouTubing right now. You're on it. Oh, man. I'm talking about folks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She's funny. Right, bye -bye. Love you. See you. Love you. Mm -hmm. talk about, I'm talking about folks. That's my family, y'all. Normally, I would be down there with them. But we decided to do Thanksgiving ourselves this year. But we'll be down there for Christmas. And then our mommies are coming up here because if you've been watching, we got engaged and we're about to get married on December 20th, 18th, 18th, 18th not the 20th. It was supposed to be the 20th, but we had to switch days. So we get married and our mommies are coming afterwards because it's in the middle of the week. So they can't come because of work. And we're going to do like this pretty photo shoot with me in a wedding dress to one in a suit our mom's wearing red because that would be the colors if we would have had a wedding and we're gonna take some really pretty pictures yep so it's gonna be a great time oh okay i'm tired of stabbing this but i know i need to keep going Trying to get near the bone, because if you get near the bone, that's where the flavor is. I got to make baked beans without bell peppers, because I thought I had some in here, 
Y'all tell her you can use the red, yellow. I'm not using it. I only use A lot green. of people don't know bell peppers are, they all come from green. They go from green. You didn't know that. To, yes, I did. They go from green to yellow to orange to red, I believe. Or it might be, it might be orange, yellow to red. It's one of them. He didn't know but that it they all go, it, y'all. Nah, but if y'all didn't know, now y'all know. Chef Frank is in the building today. Whatever. And the camera about to die. Why didn't right. you charge it? We got our phone. Jay, look, why you did this? Y'all, she didn't. Oh my goodness, she didn't set me up, y'all. I shouldn't have to do all that. I shouldn't have to work that hard. Alright, y'all. So, what y'all want to start off with is any size container. It really depends. This for. This would be a normal time for like a whole family. As of right now, it's just me and Jada. So, empty pan, right? You know what I'm saying? If you got a big family, family of 20, football team, basketball team, you might need a bigger pot. But it's just me and Jada. So, first, we're gonna start off with four cups of water, all right? You gonna get a measuring cup or. Damn, you can even eyeball it, so. First cup. That's another two cups. Why do you need the... Golly, for all this smoke coming it up. There's no smoke happening right now. All right, so, matter of fact, y'all, we're gonna do six cups of water. Cause the pan, the pan got a lot of room in it. And you're gonna need the key to cooking collard greens or a turnip green, whatever greens you're trying to cook, liquid. The liquid is the key. So six cups of water. It's gonna look like this, y'all. I don't know y'all can see it, my I got the camera on the charger, y'all, so I'm trying. Six cups of water, right? Next, you're gonna get the chicken broth. You know what I'm saying? I might use the rest of this because there ain't really nothing in there. So we got this thing. Plus, I got another one in there. So it's going to be mixed around, but chicken broth, chicken broth. So we go six cups. So you're going to do half and half. Right there. Pour it up. Pour it up. Pour it up. Watch it all fall out. So we drain that, man. Open this one up. Smack it with the broth up. Pour it up, pour it up. Uh huh. So, first cup, that's two cups right here. Boom. That's another two right here. I told y'all I probably gonna run out, so boom. But wait, there's more. Is there more? Yeah. Alright, remember I bought the second one? I bought the one, the big, big wood one. I should have just used this instead of that one. Now we got another one. So it's all different types of broth, but it's the same it's the same broth. Chicken broth, chicken broth. Shake it up, tap it, wake the broth up. Same thing. Chicken wing, do my thing. Gonna pour it like some champagne. Alright, ooh. It's alright, this is a little messy table, so we get to make a mess right here. So that's six. Six cups of water. Six cups of broth. Put this in the fridge. I don't know where it's gonna fit, because we don't have a bad room. There's gonna be pickles. I think so. Just pull it up. So, six cups of water, six cups of broth, right? Then, you're gonna put your turkey leg, look. This is the size of my leg, y'all, for real, for real. So, you're gonna put the turkey leg in there, right? Uh, so, Jay, use the front, I'm gonna use the back. Iron, you're gonna I'm set done. it. 
Oh yeah, but you gonna still you need it, right? No. Alright, you know. Why you turn it off? I'm done. Turn it back on. I'm about to use it. I'm not gonna sit there and do me a favor real quick. Hold this pan over because I feel like I'm gonna just gonna lean it. You special. She's so special. I got something special. Shut up, nigga. I got something special. All right. So what y'all want to do, right? Set whatever iron to high. You want it to boil. So got the pan of broth and water. Then you're going to get your turkey leg. Preferably smoke turkey leg. Smoke is probably the best option. I mean, you can use any other. You can use any type of meat you want. Neck bones, whatever you want. But me, I use turkey legs. So, smoked turkey legs. I had covered it and soaked it overnight. Marinated, whatever you want to call it. It ain't really marinated because I don't even marinate steak technically. So, I guess it's whatever you want to call it. Overnight with some seasonings. Well, like one type of seasoning. Well, that thing hot. Huh? That's why I want the fan on. You need to put that thing on. And then, y'all, this is the beautiful smoked turkey leg. Y'all can't see the seasoning, but it's seasoning on the It was a light coat. So this this is what a turkey leg is, so. Drop that thing in there like this. Oh, the whole thing fit in there. You don't need to. So you're going to drop the thing in there like this. You see, I could have put, we could have put two in there, but it's right with this. I ain't know. I thought the pan was going to be small, but. Pan's pretty damn big, so you're gonna do like this, right? Put it on here. Woo -wee! Now we cooking with Crisco, baby. Put our thing like this. Alright, now y'all. We're gonna put the lid on there. And then we're gonna boil it. Well, we're gonna wait until it starts boiling. We're gonna wait until it starts boiling, huh? Oh, we ain't, we ain't doing that now. Oh, yeah. My fault, y'all. I forgot. One more thing. We're going to add four tablespoons of chicken better than bouillon. This is where the magic happens. Right here. I almost forgot that over here. So, yeah. This is going to be the real magic of the potion. So, get your little measuring cup. Scoop. Scoop it up. It don't gotta be perfect, y'all, but just make sure it's decent. Draw that in there like that. Then you're gonna go in for another round. Like I said, it don't gotta be perfect. Put it on like this. Switch around in the water. So I'll let them get out. Try to get out. That's gonna look good, ain't it? No. Ah, you be hate. Yo, when I say we got some haters in the building. We got some haters in the building. So, we done with that, y'all. We gonna let it boil. Give it about like 10, 15 minutes, probably boil. And we gonna get back to y'all. Get back right with y'all. I'm tripping. All right, y'all. We is back. As you can see. As you can see, it is boiling, so once you get that a nice boil going on, take the lid off for a little bit, like that, you're going to come right here, over here, got the onions and the garlic, so... What you wanna do? Damn. So, what is this gospel explosion? Yeah, we've been all over the southeast coast of Georgia. So, for the best gospel performance and a $10,000 cash prize. Yeah, I'm proud of you. What you wanna do, y'all? I seen the pot. You gonna wanna get the garlic? How many garlic y'all want? It don't even matter. You're gonna wanna pretty much just smush the garlic. You know how you gonna do? Drop it in the drop it in the pan. Then you're gonna get your onions. 
cut them up in fourths. So this is this is one onion. So you're gonna put all that in there. Just gonna drop them in there. Yes. Everything you need is in my Can I get right back to my room? Then, as y'all can see, as y'all can see, just gonna let that in there, turn the heat back up to about like eight. I put it on, I put it on high, and I jump boil it so fast, y'all. But y'all can see, I made a sandwich. My baby is saying she eating good. Let's see, messing that junk up. This is not your habit. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Made an omelet. Sandwich. So, yeah, once it starts boiling again, we're going to get to the good, informative, juicy part. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned. Give me, it's going to take probably like 10 minutes. Probably not. Probably going to take like 5 minutes. And that might be wraps. But, yeah, stay tuned. Put the lid back on. I made it hot, so make sure y'all protect yourself. I'll let that boil, and then we're gonna be back. We'll be back, y'all. So, gotta keep up looking, y'all. My bad. Everything boiling nice and good. You know what I'm saying? The onions doing what they're supposed to do. My bad, y'all. Onions doing what they're supposed to do. And focus. Yeah, so, take the lead still in there. That bit, you know what I'm saying, vibing in that bit. But, I think I'm gonna put y'all right here. And then I just, I just had to zoom in for real, for real. So, as y'all can see, the pot, the pot, right? Ta da! Then, right, you wanna add your greens. This is the, hey, let me zoom out, I'm sure. It's the most essential part of the dish, the collard greens. You know what I'm saying? You use collard greens, turtle greens, whatever you're saying. Always wash your greens, bro. I washed them last night and I cut them last night. Uh, I prefer mine's a little longer. Jada wanted hers a little shorter. That's because she's she from the country. And that's how I guess our family like it. So they probably like, they're like this short. Mine's the ones I like before I cut them in half and stuff, they're probably like this long. I don't care. I can eat them up regardless. But yeah, smell good. Wash them and stuff. Woo. That's me. Wash them and stuff. Got a full of green. So what you want to do is go to the pot. And then I think I'm just holding y'all. Yeah. Go to the pot. Get the greens. Big pan of greens. Put this over there. Move this over here. Real quick. And then you just want to slowly add the greens, man. You want to slowly add your greens to the pot. The greens, you see how it's on high? The greens is going to knock the temp down because obviously they're cold. And you're just going to add your greens. You want to add a little bit at a time. Notice I ain't put all of them in there. So that's just about enough right now. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with this one, this one. I'm gonna go with this one, y'all. I wasn't gonna go with this one, but I didn't wanna scrape them up, so I'm gonna go with this, right? You don't wanna just put, put them down, put them down. Soak, soak them with, you know what I'm saying, with the juice. And like I said, y'all, <coughs> for the everlasting time, the water, the juice, look at that. Ooh, look at that juice. Y'all look good already. The juice is the most important essential of the collard greens. Without juice, there won't be no collard greens. So make sure y'all always constantly have juice in y'all pot. If there's no juice, then, then your collard greens might dry out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna have no juice to cook. This one, so now you're gonna just add pretty much the rest of the greens like this. <coughs> so, 
That's how, if, if you ain't cleaning like this at Thanksgiving, but cleaning and cooking like this, but there's nothing wrong with you. You gonna make sure that's uh, handy dandy, fine. You gonna mush those around too. Everybody get, everybody need glove, Craig. You gonna mix these around like this, right? Man, I wish I had like a cameraman, bro. It would be so much easier. So you gonna mix this around, make sure Everything you can push them down a little bit, it don't matter. They gonna sink regardless. So now, right? Ooh, splash a little juice. Now, make sure everything down there in the juice. And that was that was uh this was four bundles of juice, y'all. I mean four bundles of collard greens. And the bunches was big, so I can't wait till I oh snap, man, some came out of pot. I can't wait till I start my garden when we move to our house. I think collard greens is something I'm gonna grow. Probably around like November ish. And it'll just be like a November, a Thanksgiving type type deal. Might have it twice in a year. But this probably, I'm probably gonna grow it only for Thanksgiving because collard greens is key essential to a black culture. So if you're not a good collard greens, you black, ask your mom, your daddy, your grandma, your uncle, granddad, somebody, they should know. If not, then look it up, man. It's YouTube's everywhere, TikTok's everywhere. Do you. You know what I'm saying? I picked this up off uh, a dude named Cooking with AB. Cooking and Grilling with AB on YouTube. You look him up. I got this recipe for him <clears throat> a while back. So that's where I learned it from. I mean, my dad and stuff cook collard greens, but I never really pay attention to like, them cooking soul food like that. Like, I watched them cook a lot of stuff, but like, it didn't really pay me no mind because I was like, I ain't cooking. So. I'm just eating, so I ain't really care. But now, nah, I'm cooking everything off the dome from straight memory and stuff. So we're gonna let this boil. Get that in there. We're gonna let this boil. We're gonna put that, you know what I'm saying, back to high. Let that cook down a little bit. What you wanna do is, put the lid back on too. What I wanna do is though, since the green is cooking, I wanna check it, I say every, 30 minutes. Well, depending on how fucking fast, because apparently this shit is amazing, and it's cooking this too damn fast, cooking it too damn fast, so, yeah. You just want to keep checking on that every, like, 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and then make sure, like, your water level is decent. I know if you want to make sure you have juice in your greens. If you, if you don't, they might not taste right, so, <clears throat> you going to check that. Oh, damn, I missed another one. I'm tripping, y'all. You can smell them too. Smell good. Hey y'all, you can undercook greens. If y'all don't know, you can undercook greens. And if you undercook greens, you'll be shitting your guts out. Don't ask me how I know, cause I know. Some people can't cook greens, and I've seen I've seen other people shit their guts out. And I ate some greens from somebody else, like a long time ago, and I was shitting my stomach out. So yeah, you can undercook greens. I don't know if you can overcook greens. I don't never really, I guess if they like too damn mushy like oatmeal, I guess then. But you can, I'd rather have overcooked greens, at least they done, than undercooked greens. So make sure you cook your greens all the way through. I don't really know how to tell y'all. Like it really, it go from a light green, you see how bright those was. A bright green to a dark green. And when they're dark green, you know when they're, you, you'll know when they're done. That's all I gotta say. Like that's how I know, I know when they're done. Just by looking at it. So make sure y'all do your research and handle that. So we're gonna wait 30 minutes or so until they cook down, and then go with y'all with some next steps. Stay tuned. Alright, he's back. And so as you see, I told you my, my thing cooked fast, so you know what I'm saying? It's doing what it's doing. So now we're gonna we gonna turn this down. To about a four because it was on the six and you see how, how it's stumping right now you see how that goodness flows around so we're going to turn it down to a four Man, that's, that's y'all up my bad we'll turn it down to a four y'all want it to simmer so y'all cook it high until it get like this and then y'all put it on the simmer we're going to add our white vinegar 
or any type. You can use apple cider, uh, apple cider vinegar, whatever you want. And what happened? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put two tablespoons. Yeah, we're gonna put two tablespoons of vinegar. Right in there, just like that. Get that vinegar in there, and you're gonna put your spices, whatever spices y'all want, in here. You're gonna put that up, and we're just gonna shake it in there. Right there. Shake it in like that. You put as much, as uh, much as that little you want, and you're gonna get a good, good mix. Good, good old mix. Good mix like that, y'all. Y'all see how that juice looking? You want the juice looking right there, nice and good. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna turn it down to about. You ain't used to think. Hmm? I don't know. We'll turn it about to. We're gonna add a fold. And we're just gonna let it let it slow cook, y'all. Slow cook, cook the meat in the turkey bag. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure the bottom fall off. The meat fall off. Cook for about good. 30 minutes to an hour, probably an hour. See, right now it's still not there. All right, y'all, the more y'all wait for. Are they done? Are they done? No. That was so safe. No, this thing has to cook it fast as hell, so they, they, they almost done. Y'all, yeah, you gonna get it. She actually don't let me cook, y'all, but I don't never say nothing when she cooking. She always on my nuts. So you're going to take the tongs, right, and the fork. <laughs> take the lid off, right? Take the lid off. Y'all going to be looking at this deliciousness right here. Right, right. Uh, this deliciousness right here, y'all said, ooh, wee. Like you want to slap your mama and your grandma and your auntie. But uh, I know a little black, but it's because the lights, you know. All right, so, y'all, you're going to get your, your tongue. I wish I had metal ones, but this is dangerous. It's, it's rubber. You're going to take, but oh, it's sketchy, boy. Why is it sketchy? Because it's rubber. You're going to take your tongs. My bad. I hit you. You're going to get your fork. And just pull it off. Huh? And you just go. Okay, anyways, you're gonna take this and just take the uh take the meat off, y'all. Woo! It should fall off the bone like this. If it ain't already falling off the bone, something wrong. You're doing something wrong, but say skin and all, skin and all is a blessing. We don't want uh, we don't want these though. This is very hot, y'all, so I'm trying to be very careful for myself. Oh my god. We just gonna hold it with our hand, y'all. Tear it down this fork. It's so hot, y'all. Tear the meat off. I gotta put it low, y'all, so I won't burn myself. I'm just gonna take the meat off. Put the fork. While taking out all the bones, too. As y'all can see, y'all. Eating stuff. See, I'm broken down. Me, y'all, looking good. Spinning around, twirling around. Nice green. Look, look at that. Look at that good soup, bro. Hold on, I'm doing it. Ooh, wee! Look at that juice. 
That's what y'all want, y'all, son. I'm gonna just kill fire like another. Another like, I turn it on too, just to cut it, so. Oh, it's not, they, it noodles. You sitting there watching TV, look, you sitting there watching TV getting distracted. My noodles about to overflow. Did you turn them off? No, no I turned it down. Dang. Yeah, you wanna turn this back up, like, hold it, simmer a little bit. Wait, cause they almost done, y'all, so. Collard greens successfully done. You know? She dancing. Also, I'm cooking beef potatoes, y'all. Do it like this. Yes. Well, salt and pan. Potatoes, cinnamon. Yeah. I don't have an address. Uh, I see the bonds. Will you type your text into us, Amber? But yeah, it's bonds. That's it. Don't stop. My favorite movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we done with this. It's complete. I'm gonna let all that cook for a little bit. It's pretty much done. Right here. Oh, they got big. I'm like, this. Yeah. Just gonna let those finish cooking. Collard greens be done. I know Zeta, so could be. Damn. 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 Can you do the hammer for me real quick? Come on, stop putting the camera on my booty. Alright, y'all. Stay tuned. Dude. You out. You want it? Look how juicy the ham is. Look at that bitch dripping, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I want that. Come get over her, get her. Put that thing down, baby. Look how juicy that ham is. Look at all that, that flavor. Woo, woo. Yeah, let me give y'all an honest review. Well, at least there's bread. Here, we can have some bread. Damn! Because I'm waiting for you to say something. Look harder than all of them. I was waiting for you to say something. Good. It's like it didn't cool down a lot though. Well duh. Mm -hmm. Well I can put it back in the oven before we eat. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, that bitch blanket. I didn't even want to cherry then? Yeah. Oh, that's the one you injected when she injected this one with the juice, y'all. Mm. Bust in my mouth. Call no diddy. That's good, y'all. I'm about to show y'all the greens are done. That's what the green looking like, y'all. I got the good juices, the onion, the garlic, the turkey, smoked turkey leg. That be looking good. Uh, baked beans in there, sweet potatoes right there, mac and cheese right there. You, you see, all, all in the works, all in the works. But yeah, I'm gonna show you everything when I get done. We gotta put the bread in there too. So I'm waiting for another slide to open up. So. Y'all, it's gonna be a good one. Just cutting that ham up, baby. Put that thing up. I don't want it to cook through. Huh? I don't want it to cut through because we ain't got another pan. Uh, There's a lot of fat on this. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We're gonna, we gonna see y'all later. Alright, so everything is done. They just want to make sure the baby beans look crispy. I don't know why. So we got the baby beans, y'all. As you can see. Watch out, watch out. Alright, my bad, my bad, my bad, girl. So, let's try this one more time. For dessert, the runner up, pumpkin pie. We can't bake for shit, so we got the pumpkin pie. Got the ham right here, you know what I'm saying? Look delicious. Got the baked beans, sweet potatoes, mac and cheese. Oh my lord. Bread. Good old collard greens, baby. Good old collard greens. How you feeling? First Thanksgiving, a success. And this is what you're gonna be cooking up for our family. Probably more. Yeah, we'll probably do dressing eventually. Never do turkey. I don't like turkey. I do, I do turkey, but turkey is that's the yeah. family like turkey, so I ain't no point of cooking it. So. Yeah, you're gonna do the baby turkey. The garnish hand. <laughs> well yeah, this is the setup, y'all. How you feeling? I'm good, I'm ready to eat. Alright. Y'all heard lady. Man, 
If y'all made this far in the video, man, thank y'all for staying along. Dang. It wasn't even uh, on you. Uh, well, if y'all made this far in the video, thank y'all for coming along. Damn. No, yeah. She about to break my wrist. You know, it, was, it was. It was not on you. Well, thank y'all for coming. Anyways, anyways, thank y'all for coming along, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post on the case, man. If y'all want something to eat, come get it. It's free. We got leftovers for everybody and their mama. But, yeah, if y'all ain't know how to make greens, now y'all do. Thank me. If you know how to make hams, thank me Man, you just, from the YouTube video. Ham, you just pop that bitch no, in the you oven. Don't. If you really know how to make ham, ham is naturally kind of sweet, but salty. It depends on what ham you get. Pop that bitch in the oven. It's already pre-cooked. Technically, technically, it is pre-cooked. Unless you get, like, unless you kill a, kill a pig immediately, then, that, that, then that's a whole different story. But put that bitch in the oven and enjoy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.